Thank you to everyone who's like, let us live out a dream. It's a shame to leave, but I think we're, we're leaving on a high, which a lot of bands don't do. Uh, thanks to all the fans, because without fans, it wouldn't have made a difference. At least a Galway history, really. Like, yeah. It's been Galway for the last, what, two, three years? It's been predominantly turnstiles. Bit of new dad splash in there, but turnstiles has been the live scene for the last while. Definitely some experiences that, like, we never would have had otherwise if it wasn't for the band. The most fun has been like driving around in Killian's car with like five amps, five guitars, five lads, two drum kits in a <laughs> yeah, in a like '99 Yaris and just like going to places that you know we never ever would have gone to. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, it's a sad night, but uh, I think they're leaving a legacy in Galway. They, you know, they have opened up a route by which you know, like new young bands can play in Galway, which was never there before. If you don't think you can sing, have a go. If you don't think you can play guitar or play drums, just throw something together. And like, if you're positive about it, people will enjoy it. Like, so just do it for the sake of it. And that's what I hope people take from our whole thing. Like, is just do it for the sake, and have fun. No one thought we were going to go anywhere really, and we got to like play in London and shit, which is pretty cool. So, very grateful for everyone. It's always something I wanted to do when I was a teenager, so like, I'm really happy that I got to be a musician for three years and have a lot of fun and meet four really nice people that I could do a lot of fun stuff with. I spent my last three years with this band and they are fucking amazing. Yes. It's hard to see them go, but they will always live on. Yes.